Last night I, oh hi, this is Vicki. Um, last night I did a quick job with my other wallpaper samples and today was just checking them and I found that this one left air bubbles. It probably has something to do with the uh, sizing and the surface and everything that's on that wallpaper. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo of how I'm going to fix this. See, there's a big one right here. I don't know if you can see that in the shadow or not. But I'm going to cut right down the middle of that bubble with an X-Acto knife. Lightly cutting because I don't want to go through my paper. And that paper is only 75 pounds. So I'm lifting up that little slit. Can you see that? No. You can't. There's too much stuff in the way. Okay, can you see that? All right, now I have my little, some kind of a prescription savings card or something. That makes for a perfect tool. Now I'm just going to slip that under there and press it back down. And I'll do the same for here. Come on now. Just put that back down. This is not even a problem, really, but um, it can be worrisome. Of course, now you got to worry about are those seams going to show? And when you put color on, and if they do, that just adds a little bit more texture. So, how about that? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, if you ever get an air bubble in a collage, this is your fix. If you want to fix it. There's one right there. Let's go ahead and fix it while we're doing it. It's one of the surprises you get when you're a pioneer in some of these techniques and materials. And you get to forge new territory. Isn't that fun? So in just a few minutes, we fixed most of them. Mm -hmm. 